Okay, we have mentioned <laughs> multiple times uh, the uh, strategic, tactical, operational uh, threesome and uh, the different levels at which we we operate. And um, uh, in terms of the architecture, this is not implementation, it guides implementation, but implementation is really the operational level. It is not design, really. It is a, a layer of abstraction above design. A design is, is really the tactical level uh, that we're considering. Architecture is the strategic level, and we want to address the strategy and, and guide the strategy and the tactical and operational levels. But, you know, it is designed to be strategic. You want this to have a longer lifespan than uh, even a blueprint or a, a design specification, and, and certainly longer than a topology or a configuration. Um, this is the business considered acceptance and management of risk. The, the business decision around what is an acceptable level of risk and what are we going to do about it. Um, it can get constrained if we become too specific. Uh, you know, we get we get tied up in in issues that really aren't in the long term interests of the enterprise. But it can't provide us with proper guidance if it is too general. If we just say uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and that's the end of it. No, we we have to tie it to the enterprise but tie it to what the what business are we in is, is uh, one of the uh, questions that uh, businesses are, are told to ask uh, I can remember um, having a, a discussion with uh, uh, a company and, and the way that they were pursuing it they, they said that they were a product company that they were selling a product, but their product was tied to an infrastructure and really provided a service. And they, it, it seemed to be impossible to get them to understand that. So, uh, you know, what business are you in? What, therefore, assets do you have? What assets are important? And what, um, uh, what protections do they need? Um, it should support the long view of technical directions, not short-term technical constraints. Um, you know, uh, we're and and this is why the CISSP is is non-vendor specific. You know, you are not going to see any questions on the exam about specific vendors. What does Microsoft do about this? What does IBM do about this? What does, uh, you know, whatever companies. Uh, no, it's, it's not specific vendors. It's not specific products. It's what's the function? What is the, the basis? What is uh, the asset that we're protecting? Um, and the, the type of business that we are protecting, um, the uh, you know, the, the broader view, uh, so that even the, you know, the specific tools that we have right now, um, do not matter. Not in terms of the architecture. The architecture guides what decisions we make about purchasing. Um, it, we, we don't want to get into a situation where we, our architecture becomes invalidated by changes in technical direction. I've, I've mentioned, uh, you know, quantum computing. When, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that people are uh, addressing because they are stuck in uh, 
a you know only a model of uh, technology that is driven by the fact that everything is von Neumann architecture everything is our our procedural uh, machines right now that's our our information technology and and the quantum computing is going to drive a major change in that we are going to have to change the way we think about a, a number of technologies um, so we have to allow for multiple implementations depending on the current requirements and the requirements themselves may change the the business um, and eventually sometimes you know the the business itself the business model itself and what business we are in may change as market conditions change and, and the overall situation of technology that we cannot really foresee um, but that of course if that happens that changes our policy our policy has to be rewritten and our architecture has to be redesigned um, we have to make sure that we change if that major a change occurs uh, but you know definitely uh, we in in terms of the architecture it has to take the long view it has to take the large broad view um, we cannot be in a situation where every time there is a, a change in a blueprint for a specific implementation that we change our architecture no that means that we haven't done our architecture properly our architecture is not uh, well it's not an architecture if every time we change an implementation we have to change our architecture our architecture should drive the specifications for the blueprints and the implementations not the other way around